Not too long ago, uh, the mayor was on a plane sitting next to a woman who talked about the fact that she had lost her job. She was smart. She had a long working career. She had done everything right. And she explained that there really was no assistance for people like her, that most federal programs were geared towards low income. Most people high up on the career ladder had outplacement. But for the hardworking people of Chicago, who pay their taxes, who really are the heart and soul of this city, there wasn't programs. The mayor felt that was completely unacceptable. It was not to be a government program. It was to be a program that was private sector centered. The mayor also said that this needed to be a collaborative event, an effort where a lot of people came together. And so you will see all around this room representatives from the business sector, from government, from non-for-profits, from civic leaders, and of course, most importantly, you. You are one of the 175 high caliber, high talent individuals selected for this program. You come from the south side, the west side, the north side, and downtown. And as you know, the recession has been hard on all of the middle class, regardless of where you call home. Collectively, you have 9.5 million hours of work experience. 9.5 million. Rich work experience, ranging from teachers, bookkeepers, administrative assistants, bankers, meeting planners, just to name a few. Mayor Daly has been the guiding light, he's been the driving force, and he's been the vision behind Chicago Career Tech. Mayor Daly? Waking up this morning, of all things I've done as mayor, this is one of the most exciting Monday morning, to be very frank. <laughs> very frank. It's... Why is it? And uh, I don't have to talk about the recession. You know how difficult the recession is. Uh, it's not just uh, printed, but it's in someone's face, it's someone's family, it's someone's career and what has taken place over the last three or four years. And so waking up to this first class is really important for me. Your commitment uh, to your families and, and not being depressed about things. I know you are sometimes. But it does get. Let's be realistic. You're human like anyone else. You have families. You have responsibilities. You have obligations and things like that. But being here this morning reinforces our, our really belief that people do make a difference in our society, like yourself. Got called in one Monday and got told, we're eliminating your position. If I were in management, I probably would have made the same decision. Meanwhile, I spent my time taking care of a senior that lives in my building. We became really good friends. Um, she's been diagnosed with cancer, and um, so I spent almost every day doing things for her, shopping for her. And then she called me one day and said, oh, I just saw something on Channel 2 News. Um, I think it's Chicago Career Tech. Give them a call. Find out about it. I said, well, what is it? She said, it'll help you survive. It'll give you some more money. I'm like, well, I'm for that. We want to reaffirm our faith and confidence individually and collectively in all of you and those that will come after you here in this program. Being able to take the people that have been unemployed and can be depressed and are at limits where they can't really find anything else, it's like bringing a light at the end of a tunnel. It's really helping them. It's not just them, it's the family, it's the community, it's everybody around them. So it's really a huge plus for the city of Chicago and for the United States. It's a wonderful program. What can we do for the forgotten class? And that's you. You went to school, you worked, you paid your taxes, local, state, and federal taxes. But you don't fit into all the poverty programs. You don't fit into all the rich programs. So you're like in limbo. You don't know where you are, but you're there. So at first it was like, oh, gee, I get to sit home for a couple weeks. You know, I thought, no big deal. I'll get right back into work. Um, and then three weeks, and then four weeks, and then a month, and two months. And I'm thinking, something's wrong. You raise your family. You took care of the elders, you took care of your children or grandchildren, you went to your churches and block clubs and community organizations, you're very good workers, and recession took place, and unfortunately, you were laid off. And, and, and lay off all of a sudden in your life. And here, I've done everything right. Who's gonna reach out to me? Where, where am I going? I filled in enough resumes, I've been to more training programs, I've overtrained now, and what can I do? I went about looking for a job, that became my job, getting up every day, going online, filling out applications for jobs I was qualified for, underqualified for, overqualified for, even jobs I never even uh, applied for. I always loved to read the Chicago World Business Newsletter, and when I saw it there, 
they said that they were launching this new career tech program. I thought it was just, it was calling my name and I knew that was the answer to all my questions. This is the only city doing this in the nation. In the nation, we're the only one thinking about this. And we're gonna educate people, both in the federal government and other agencies, how important this pilot program is to our city. And the fact that it's the first type program uh, within the country, it shows the innovative people that he has around him and his commitment to make Chicago a first class city. And this program is a program for jobs. It's not just training. All the training programs that the government has run for years, they keep training. The end result is to order to get a job and rebuild your career. That is simple as that, and that's what the mission is all about. It's basically a job and a career for you. Not a part-time job, and not a summer job. No, this is in order to get a job. And what we're trying to do in technology is to create a pool of talent for Chicago unequal in this country, unequal in the world, because this is a global, this is a global city. It's getting more and more global. We understand that because the world is getting global. To really have the skills to be able to network with the people, to work with the non profit as well as a business partner, it's a huge plus. It's not just going to school. You're also having hand-on experience. Are you getting to, it's kind of like a six months where they try you out and maybe you'll be able to have a job at the end of the, of the six months. You just have to be your best. The future of all of us is this, this whole idea of technology. And it's here, and it's going to be here, and we're not going to get rid of it. And that's why education, public education is so important, and technology is so important for another generation, that we can basically uh, educate people with technology, through technology. Being in the digital age, print publications are losing their, their foothold. There'll still be those people who want the, the traditional page-turning type thing, but now with the with the Kindle and the, the iPad, everybody wants digital content. This is a logical step for me to take the next phase and go into the digital media and have an opportunity to be more on the creative and editorial side where I belong. I'm looking forward to working with Flashpoint, learning some great applications, and uh, finding my next niche as I go forward in my professional life. Without looking at the real problem of America, and that is jobs and that is training and retraining so they can rebuild their own life and their family and get a good job. That's what this is all about. That's what the mission is. It's not some, something else. It's, it, it, it's all about getting people good paying jobs and benefits. I congratulate you. I look forward to great success of the first, uh, first class, and I want to thank all those who had the passion, the willingness to believe in you and not have you been forgotten by anyone? Because you're the ones who made this city, this state, and this country, and the world. It'll be brand new for me. I'm very excited about this opportunity. Too good to be true. I feel like I won the lottery.